that we can get an idea of the vastness of our religion. Allah, the teachings of Quran, the message of Prophet Sallallahu is so vast. What openness there is in the teachings of Quran. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala save us all <coughs> save us all from being narrow-minded. Allah save us from narrow-mindedness and tightness of our hearts and souls. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us with open-mindedness and save us from the rigidity of our thoughts. The second thing is the message of Quran and Hadith has to be spread to whom? Not only to the Muslims or the believers, but it has to be passed on to Ya Ayyuhannas, all the people of the globe. Just imagine what a colossal job has to be done and to realize the extent of the job which has been done. Just let's analyze what a colossal job has to be done <coughs> and how much of it has been done or has been achieved. You will all agree with me in the state of affairs of the Muslim Ummah that even in the literate class of the Muslim population, 5% of the population has not even read or gone through the translation of Quran. So just imagine the colossity of the job which remains to be done. And you know what? Prophet we know, we believe, we have faith is what? He was the seal of prophets. So there's going to be no prophet, no messenger of Allah who's going to come and who's going to complete this mission. So whose responsibility is this now? It is the responsibility of the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called in Quran as Kuntum Khaira Ummatin. 